Hello violin players, welcome to Prime Strings. My name is Henriette and in this lesson we are learning to play Chinese lanterns. Chinese lanterns is always a lot of people's favourites and I absolutely love this piece because it sounds really Chinese to my ears. So will you join me practicing it from the beginning? One and two and three, four. So what we really need to know is at the beginning of this piece that we're playing the fourth finger in the first four quavers. So when you play here, you may have noticed that we skip the third finger so you go straight from two to four. Let's practice that a couple of times, shall we? Are you playing it with me? One, two. Okay, now this time let's play A, one, two, four, two, four, two, four, just to get your pinky used to that fourth finger. And that's lovely. Now when you do that, you want to make sure that your thumb here is nice and relaxed, so you're not squeezing that thumb into the neck of the violin, you're just holding it really lightly there. Let's try that, shall we? We'll do the same thing with the repeated fourth fingers. Ah. Now check your thumb for me. Is it nice and loose? Your thumb there. Now let's play two, four, two, four, once again. Ah. Wow, that is good practice. Now we'll go from the beginning and we'll play the whole first line. And Quavers there are different because you play the open E string like this. Let's just play this section and practice it a few times, shall we? We're starting at the point of the bow. At Let's do that again. Go back to the A string. And So we're going one and two and three, four, like that. One, two, three, four. It says piano, which means quiet, I hope you know that by now. And it also said, says at the top RIT, and RIT is short for ritenuto, and ritenuto means 
hold it back a little bit, slow it down in other words. So we're going to go much softer suddenly and we're gradually going to go a little bit more slowly. And then you see underneath the last note, you see diminuendo and diminuendo means take down the volume. So get quieter over the course of this last note. So let's practice the last note, shall we? I want you to slow down the bow and bring it towards the fingerboard a little bit while you play the last note because those, you know there are three ways uh, how to play louder and quieter. Getting quieter, use less bow, drift the bow towards the fingerboard and press much less hard. So that's what we're going to do. On the last note, let's just practice that last note and go down to completely nothing. So it needs to be completely quiet at the end of your last note. Let's try that, shall we? And one, two, three, four. Shall we just practice that again? That's wonderful if you could do that at the end of your piece. And Very, very special if you can do that. Now let's play the last two lines. So we're going to start a little bit louder now, piano, and then we're going to slow it down. So the first couple of notes are still at the original pace. One, and... I do love that. Now let's go back to the beginning one more time and let's put it all together. So we're going a bit louder at the start and we're going to play this really nice and energetically. One, two, three, four. joining me today. If you have enjoyed this lesson, do share it with your friends and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. Goodbye!